Guys, you'll appreciate this. I'm currently taking time out of my day to record this video. I'm taking time away from doing nothing. I'm lazy. I'm a lazy piece of shit and I should record more YouTube videos to be honest with y'all. But today's a banger, so I'm gonna make up for it with some nice, some high quality content, you know? Guys, of course, we're continuing the Why Of Trips Pat's ebook. It's a mouthful, so I'm just gonna call it you trips because that's what most people call it. Now, I have not yet done an ability breakdown because I think that is important and I forgot to do it at the last video so we're gonna do it in this one. Now at the quarterback position you only need two abilities pretty much. It's either set field lead or gunslinger and then the second ability that you really need is inside that eye. It, ma it makes a difference. You can just it basically gives you accurate throws all over the field no matter where you're at you can throw it on the run. It's basically like dash and that but also gives you per perfect pass accuracy inside the pocket. It's gorgeous, you guys should use it definitely 100%. So now that we've got that out of the way, let's now talk about Pat's Y out, which is the play that I wanna talk about in today's video. Now on defense, I came out in the 2 for 5 out formation because that is something that a lot of the pros have been running and it's sort of becoming popular amongst us regular people too, as, mo as mere mortals. So that's why I'm running against it. Now the first step is gonna be really simple and we'll kind of build up in the complexity from this point forward. We are going to drag our tight end, we're going to put Goodwin on a hitch. We're going to put Evans on a fade. And we're going to block the halfback. Now, Antonio Brown, you can put him on the post if you want to. I'm not going to because I really like the depth that this uh, regular post gets. So we're going to do the same setup again. I really should have done that. But yeah, this is the setup. And you're going to snap the ball. You're going to try to get as much time as possible. And if you wait long enough, you see uh, we got an pressure in that crib. You're gonna see how he gets really far down the field. The post just does a nice job of getting open far down the sideline, and it's just a huge completion. So let's try to get that uh, time again. Oh, Brady, 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 let's go. G good laser by Brady. But yeah, you guys can see wide open. Now, the other reads on the play, fairly simple. Let's just run it again. Boom, boom, boom. Now I got the play set up. We can hit that drag right there. Take it up the field. Air truck, if we have better stick than me, and then you can do that even better. And the last read of the play is, of course, the hitch. The streak is not really a read on this. It's just, unless it's pressed, you're not going to be able to throw this. But in this case, you see how this zone just bites down to the hitch, and then we can throw that post. Once again, terrible stick by me. But there you guys can see, that's setup number one. Now, we're already getting a little bit more complicated. We're going to put our tight end on the post. We're going to streak Goodwin, and we're going to drag Antonio Brown. Boom, there we go. That's the setup. Now we're going to snap this ball and the first read on this is going to be the drag. Just very simple. Take the drag whenever it's there. It's nice, easy guard. It's not too complicated. Take it whenever you can. Now, if we keep doing this, we will see the other reads that get open on this. First of all, if we wait long enough, oh my God, that's a terrible read. <laughs> Let's try that again. That was actually really horrible. If we have time to get outside to the left, then we can throw this uh, post to the tight end. But that, that looked very, very bad. Let's try that one more time. A little bit shuffling, a little bit shuffling. Oh my god, Gronk takes forever to get there. Actually, guys, if it looks like that, don't throw it. If I click on there, that's a pick. I don't know, Gronk just takes, he just takes ages to get there. Come on, Gronk. Come on, Gronk. Show us the speed. Show us the, show us the speed. All right. So you can throw that if you want. If you have a really fast quarterback, then you can roll out of the pocket and it'll make it a lot easier to throw this ball. But yeah, that just did not, it did not look too open. My goodness gracious, I'm getting shedded out of my mind. I'm actually gonna have to. I'm actually gonna have to block these guys because it's getting ridiculous at this at this point. And I want to show you something really, really cool. So as you can see, I snapped the ball right here. And whoop de doo what do you have? What do you know? You gotta cover three meter. I didn't announce that because this is only for the people that watched the entire video. I'm not just gonna say I have bombs in this. I have no. You guys should know that I put out fire content, and I'm gonna be honest, if you guys already clicked off and you're not seeing this ever, uh, then uh, sh sh kind of shit out of luck, to be honest with you. But yeah, this is a good cover three beater. I kind of hit the hit around the bush with this play, but man, is it a cover three beater. If you get enough time, it's gorgeous. I'm not gonna run it too many times. You guys know how cover three beaters work. And this is, funnily enough, this is a cover three beater that actually is the, is the post this year. If you guys don't know, they're not as, in, back in the day, it, it used to be just so easy to beat cover three with just posts. Now this year, it's not quite like that. You need specific posts and specific rock combos. This is one of them that works. 
I love it. You know, it's some easy touchdowns against cover three. Now, this last setup really is meant to be complicated as hell. A lot of crossing routes and a lot of different ideas. We're going to streak the tight end. We're going to put Goodwin on drag. We're going to put Brown on a curl. And I generally like to put the halfback on an out route rather than keep him on this. But this one does the job just as well. You can throw it to the running back out of the back. Once again, I'm wow, I'm not bad at air trucks. But anyways, you can just throw it to him and then you can do some work with him out of the backfield. But let's wait a little bit longer. Let's show you some of the other reads. So you're going to snap this ball. Running back is open right here. Drag is open right here. Just take it up the field for some easy yards. If you see the user kind of peeling back to cover that post. Well, there you go. You can throw the drag very, very easily. Now this one, I'm going to actually manually put the running back on an out route, But it shouldn't matter that much. I'm gonna snap this ball, boom, 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 and we also see that curl is open because the uh, hook curl kind of gets dragged to the inside with the drag. The running back takes some attention away from the curl flat and therefore the window is open to throw uh, that front, uh, that curl, rather. sheesh. I'm having trouble speaking right now. Also, I'm gonna snap this ball and you can see there's a nice little window there if the user kind of peels back to the middle of the field, kind of down towards the line of scrimmage. Then you can hit him in the seams with the tight end. That right there was not open. I just wanted to show you that the throw is there and where you kind of look to hit that. Now, the longer we wait, the post is not... Oh my gosh. The post is not really great in this. I'm going to block these guys again because it's... I want to show you guys the rock comes, not just get sacked. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So, same setup again. Nice. Need to put uh, the crowd on the field again. There we go. The post is not really open in this. Uh, that's kind of an issue. But you can have everything in the play. You can look to low past that. But if you don't have inside data, then that might be inaccurate. So that might not be a reliable throw for you. But if you get the time, well, you can look to hit that. If you get a clean pocket and you can, you're sure that it's not going to be an, an inaccurate or something. Uh, if you oh, Throw circle, guys. It's It looks like it's there. Just be careful with it and know that if you're under pressure and you sell it, that's going to be a pick. So that's important to note. I actually want to throw this ball again because I want to make sure that you guys understand that it is there. You just have to really be careful with the timing and all. So boom, low pass that. Very, very simple. Now it's open. Low passes at that depth. Sometimes inaccurate. You just have to make sure to have inside that. That's an important ability you guys should all have. Not from a very complicated setup to once again a more simple one. We're just gonna streak the slot receiver Goodwin. We're gonna put Winkowski on a drag, Evans on a drag, block the running back. And this is this really is as simple as it gets. Tight end drag is open right here. Circle was open, and then I can look to it uh square across the field. It's just it's just simple, you guys. And this post strut, I just want to appreciate it for what it is. I'm gonna max protect right here. I'm gonna double team. I just want to show this for what it is, which is a beautiful rollout post. Like this gets to such a it gets so far down the field that it's just difficult for zone drops to cover that. And if you get enough time, roll outside of the pocket. This is a nightmare to deal with. I know that first time experience. I've had people run this all the way down the field against me. And even though defense is bad, I like to think that I'm not that horrible. But yeah, this post strategy it just gives me trouble. If you give it enough time, it's going to get open on the sideline. And it's going to be really annoying to deal with for your opponent. So that's it, you guys. I hope you guys learned something during this video. Yeah, this is a multiple part ebook there's a series on my channel i'm gonna do on the youtube's formation it is in the patriots playbook now if you guys have any questions apart from that let me know in the comments below i'm happy to answer them uh if there are any things that you want to tell me in the comments like maybe that i'm terrible at madden i uh, also put them down there i love reading those uh subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet it would support me a lot like the video if you liked it dislike it if you didn't engagement is good i always love seeing your guys' feedback Till next time, goodbye, guys. I really am tired. Uh, not for any particular reason. Well, because I'm sick. Listen, you guys, I got one tip for y'all. If you don't take anything away from this uh, video but this, this still will be a useful watch. Go take some hot water. Take some lemon juice. Put them together. Drink them. It's like wonder juice. This is my second day of drinking it. I already feel way better. My waist may not sound that well. I'm getting way healthier. Uh, it's getting better, but still a little bit sick. So I hope you guys appreciate me grinding, doing the hard work of recording a YouTube video. But yeah, till next time, goodbye, guys. I always love these outros because again, I just get to ramble. If you guys dislike that, well, let me know in the comments. Till next time, goodbye, guys. Love you all so much.